assume you are given the table below containing tweet data write a query to obtain a histogram of tweets posted per user in 2022 so obviously only one table called as tweets and we have to go tweets posted per user so as soon as i see per user group by or partition come into my mind right group per user each user something like that it comes i just think like that uh, in 2022 so maybe i will apply a filter on year 2022 if output the tweet count per user as a bucket and then number of twitter users who fall in that bucket so you have to see tweet count into bucket so basically one tweet two tweet three tweets like that right so bucket will be one two three and so on okay so I think I'm clear with the requirement. We'll start with the implementation and then we'll see, right? So obviously, always as I do first, I'll write the from keyword from tweets where they have mentioned that year should be 2022. So tweet underscore date between 2021 or I will see about the format whether it is giving right output or not. 01, 01. 2021 0 0 0 0 0 generally i use yyyy format but we will see whether we are getting output from this format or not and it will be 12 31 23 59 59 right so this covers my 2021 time period so let me just do a select star and see how the output looks like whether the trade format is working or it is throwing any error so okay so i just got one output y for 2022 my bad uh, i might have seen this 2021 so got confused but yeah 2022 is the year we are looking for yes so now it looks good now what we have to do is tweet posted per user so we'll do user id from account star as total tweets and we'll do group by user id and we'll see how the output looks like now so one two one okay i think this is good uh, we will just create a derived table of this output you can i generally prefer derived table but you can use cte as well common table expression uh, it's just that how you feel comfortable if i have to create multiple derived tables i may prefer common table expressions but if it is just one the derived table looks more readable to me because everything falls in a sequence from top to down so I'll just give it a name T and now what I have to do is select and the output should look like tweet bucket and user now so maybe I will do select I can do case when total tweets okay can i do i'm just thinking something ah okay i think i know what to do i don't have to apply the case here i think as total tweets as tweet bucket comma count star as users underscore num from this and group by total tweets and maybe we just apply order by total 
do it. Right? Let me just run the code and see the output. So yeah, do it bucket one, user num two, do it bucket two. So you see here, right? What I did here is uh, I will just run this and show it to you that how did I come to this query. So let me first uh, comment this. Okay, so now let me run the query and show the output to you. So you see here, right? The user ID. We, this is clear I think right where each user ID how many tweets for this year the person has done so this is clear now my requirement was I want tweet bucket right and tweet bucket is coming from here so rather than if I would have known that no user can do it more than two or more than five I could have gone with the case statement multiple case statements but here it could be dynamic right it could be a user has created three so in that case i knew i need a new tweet bucket as three also here in the output so I, what i did is i simply this count star i created it as a column value two one one like that and depending on the how many occurrences it has so it's like a group by on top of a group by uh, so that's how i came up with this approach Things are slightly easier here because we have example input and example output uh, In the real life you may have to ask few questions from the interviewer to clear and to get some clarity So I'll just run it and let me submit this and see 